Even as Christians, we wonder, where did the universe come from? How was it created? Who is God? Where did the first people come from? What is sin? Where did death come from? Why did God destroy the entire planet with a flood and only save one family out? That doesn't seem like he's very missionary minded. What happened to the people after the flood? Where did they come from? All of those people came from Noah's lineage? Who was Lamech and why did he murder someone and gloat in it? And where did all the nations come from? Where did all the languages come from? Why are there so many different kinds of people all over the face of the earth? Are you really going to tell me that the Genesis narrative is true? That it is, in fact, historical narrative and not just some kind of metaphor or fable or something else? No, what I'm going to tell you is that the rest of the Bible is absolutely meaningless if the first 11 chapters of Genesis are not historical narrative. They are. And as a matter of fact, the first 11 chapters in Genesis gives us everything that we need to understand the basics about life, about God, about sin and death, and languages and nations and peoples, and what God requires of us. As a matter of fact, the rest of Scripture rests on those first 11 chapters. There is no Savior, Jesus Christ, without God's promise in Genesis 3.15. There is no redemption. There is no salvation. If the historical narrative of Genesis 1 through 11 is not true and real, there is no Abraham. There is no Isaac. There is no Jacob. There are no judges. If Genesis 1 to 11, if that's a fable, the rest of the Bible is a fable. That premise is extremely important, and yet it gives us today what practical ideas, biblically speaking, we need to understand concerning those beginnings. So in this new book, this new book that I've put together called a practical guide to primeval history. I deal with the first 11 chapters in Genesis and all of those questions. And what the text is not only saying, not only what doctrines we can pull from that text, but also how it practically applies to us today. It's a little technical in certain areas, but we need to be a little technical because God was a little technical in the structure of those first 11 chapters. Yet, we don't rest just in mere commentary and technicality. We want to show you what doctrines are important in those chapters and how they practically change the way that we think about all of the Bible, even today. This book is available right now at the Puritan Shop. Go to www. Dot puritanshop.com for more information on this book both in ebook form and in print form and may the lord bless you abundantly as you see all of the beginnings that god enacted in those first 11 chapters of primeval history <music>